This is the H and Y Revo ring, a variable step-down ring for your ND filters. Hi guys, this is Cinema 5D and my name is Nino. If you use DSLR or mirrorless cameras, you will know the need for ND filters on them, especially variable ND filters are something that are really commonplace to be used on those cameras because they don't have a filter built in. Now the problem with these filters is that they are screw on and that means with the different diameters of your lenses, you will need to use so-called step down or step up rings to actually be able to put that filter on all kinds of different lenses. Otherwise you will need a different filter for each lens and that's a problem, becomes expensive. Which is why we usually carry around loads of these rings and more often than not, you will end up having the wrong ring in your bag with your kit. Um, and that's a problem. Now today H&Y, a company based in Hong Kong, announced a really revolutionary new product. It's called Revo Ring and it is a variable step up ring or actually a variable step ring, which means that you can just change the diameter of that ring. Let me see the focus here. So yeah, this way you see it well. So you turn it here and it just changes the diameter. And that's amazing. So that means you don't need a step down ring anymore. You just have all the sizes you need built into the ring itself. And that's absolutely amazing. It's a very, very genius mechanical contraption. And it's one of those things when you see it the first time, you immediately understand how revolutionary it is, because that will make our life a lot easier in the field. Now, of course, with one of those, they can't actually give you the whole range of different lenses because, um, you know, there's a lot of variety of, 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 you know, diameters and lenses. So they have three different versions. Um, right here, I have the 46 to 62 millimeter um, Revo ring. And then there's another one, which is 67 to 82. And they also have one in between, which I don't have. Um, and but even that one, I mean, I would mostly use the big one, which is 67 to 82 millimeters. And uh, yeah, same thing here. You just move it like this and you get the different diameters easily. Now I can show you on the lens. I'll actually have a Sony Alpha camera here. I'll just put I just put a lens on it. I actually haven't tried it with this one before, but it should be fine. Now this is a 72 uh, millimeter uh, Lawa lens um, and I'll show you how easy it is. So the company H&Y are actually selling the Revo rings in all sizes with and without filters. Uh, this is the one with the filter built in and this is an ND3 to 1000, including a circular polarizer. So I can show you here very simple you see look at my eye you see it disappears so it's a very very strong nd and it can go quite a long way so this is with the built-in filter and then there's also the version without a filter where you can just put in your own filter um, which is nice so if you have already a filter you can just buy this which is very very cheap i think around 35 dollars or something on the kickstarter campaign so that's actually for me, it's a no brainer because it just makes your life so much easier. It's not actually that much more expensive than buying a bunch of those rings, uh, which makes it an absolute no brainer. So now I'm going to show you how to actually put the filter onto a lens on the camera. For that, uh, we have our assistant Anna here, who's going to help me. Thank you. Here's the camera. And uh, yeah, here we have the filter. That is a, actually the Revo ring by itself. That's just the Revo ring with my own custom filter in it. I'm just trying to show that version. And then you can just turn it like this and it's now to the minimum. So the minimum on this size filter is 67 millimeters. This has a 72 millimeters diameter and you just move it here and then, yep, I can just, thank you, Anna. And then you turn it like that and it's done. And you can just use and operate the ND filter here, like you would always do. So that's really, really amazing. Thank you, Anna. And uh, yeah, that's just a, a brilliant, brilliant little product um, that I think will be very, very successful. 
Now this is a Kickstarter campaign. You can order it by clicking the link below. Uh, just check it out. They have versions, uh, as I said, in three different sizes. Um, basically, if you buy all three of those diameter versions, they range from uh, 46 to 82 millimeters. I think you are completely covered. Um, and I think they also have an add-on version for an either, even bigger diameter, which will be like a, a stretch goal for the Kickstarter campaign. So I think the Revo ring uh, is absolutely brilliant. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I will use this a lot on upcoming shoots and will report back on uh, a long-term use of this as well. And uh, yeah, and um, last but not least, I want to say that the quality of the MD is very, very good. They actually use German Schott glass. Uh, Schott is a company that makes the highest quality of glass. I mean, that is literally the glass that is used in, you know, the most expensive Ari and Zeiss lenses and many, many other manufacturers. Um, they've always been known to make the best glass. And the nice thing is that even at a very high ND setting, I found that um, with their ND, uh, you don't get any loss in sharpness or, or anything like that. So it looks quite good. You just have to be, uh, you have, have to be sure um, that you don't overturn it because of course there is like with any very ND filters, there is some kind of cross effect after some point. So just uh, make sure to stay inside the limits that are actually defined on the side of the filters um, and then you're, you're safe. Uh, it, all, it says minimum and maximum here and if you stay inside it, it's fine. Uh, also, uh, one thing that they are actually enhancing after the feedback of a lot of beta testers like me, um, it is quite hard to turn the ND filter without actually accidentally also turning um, the circular polarizer. Um, and of course, you have a very nice polarizing effect. They use some special kind of coating to have a really maximum effect on the polarizer. Um, I was able to get rid of a lot of reflections while filming through car windows and shop windows over the last couple of days. Um, I'm actually not allowed to show you the footage, unfortunately, but it works really, really well. Um, yeah, but it should be, uh, they will enhance the, the fact that, you know, like I can show you here actually. Yeah. So you see, let me just hide my face. Otherwise it goes to the autofocus. Yeah. So this way you would turn the polarizer, but if you just turn the outer ring, you are turning only the ND. So you kind of have to hold it like this. So this is something they need to make a little bit more straightforward so you can operate the CPL, the circular polarizer and the ND, the variable ND filter separately. Yeah, but that's it. Really, really cool product, different sizes. Um, I can really recommend it. You can use just the, the I would just recommend to buy uh, the biggest diameter version because most current lenses uh, range anywhere between, you know, 67 and um, uh, 82 millimeters. Um, only, uh, you know, some smaller prime lenses actually have a smaller diameter. And there's of course some wider ones which have a bigger diameter, but this one actually has you covered for most uh, sizes of lens threads. And with, if you just buy the ring without their filter, which is actually also not that expensive for a really, really good very ND filter, um, but you can just buy the ring and just add your own um, circular, uh, your own uh, variable ND filter like I did here. That's an SLR Magic very ND on the Revo ring and it works quite well as, as well. And this one actually is easy to turn because I mean, this doesn't have, uh, a separate circular polarizer but with this one it works really well and that's it yeah thanks for watching and uh yeah if you want to buy it just click the links below thank you and please subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet bye